On August 15th, Archbishop Samuel J. Aquila of Denver blessed and inaugurated the new Denver Headquarters for Christ in the City, a missionary organization for college-aged young people who serve the poor and homeless. Let us ask the Lord to bless these buildings, to cast out from them any evil that may be present, that they may truly become a place for Christ in the city, that this home may truly be a beacon of light, a beacon of hope, for the gospel of light, that it may serve those who are in most need in our city. The program began in 2009 under the leadership of former Denver Archbishop Charles J. Chaput and Catholic Charities. It is now run by the Christian Life Movement at Seton House, a historic building on the former campus of Cathedral High School. Mark Bauman, chairman of the Board of Directors for Christ in the City, believes that Seton House is ideal for the organization's mission. Well, it's wonderful for us to have this property because of the history of all the ministry that has happened here over the years. And we want to be part of that ministry and continue that ministry serving the poor. Um, Christ in the City um, not only brings Christ to those suffering in the city, but we see Christ in those who we serve. And being here in the heart of the city, being close to the people we serve, makes it that much easier for us to access them and give them the, the love and the support that they need. Christ in the City brings together 16 new missionaries, ages 19 to 28, who have made a one semester or one year service commitment. Alongside their work serving the community, they receive spiritual formation and educational training. So excited about the community here. Um, having this space is such a blessing, and we've already felt how it's bringing us together, not only in recreation and in fellowship, but in prayer. From 1990 to 2009, the location served as a home for Mother Teresa's Missionaries of Charity. The sisters provided housing and community for up to a dozen AIDS patients at a time, mostly homeless men, before becoming a shelter for homeless women. It is a tremendous gift of serving the poor, of helping young people to go out and uh, reach out to those who are homeless, to those who are in poverty and helping them to bring in Christ to them and helping them to know their dignity. Archbishop Aquila said the missionary's presence at Seton House is a tremendous sign of hope. He stressed the importance of beginning outreach to those in need with the love of God. We are reminded that the mission of Christ in the city is a mission of communion, to, en to encounter Christ ourselves and to bring Christ to others who live in the city who are poor who are homeless. We must open ourselves radically towards Christ and towards others.